spray foam is created equal. There's hard cell or uh, closed cell or open cell foam. This open cell foam is a much like uh, the stuff you use for floral arrangements. You stick, you put it in the bottom, you stick your stuff in there. That's the open cell, all right? It has a lower R value, but it's a lot cheaper. Closed cell is a structural element. It's almost hard as a rock. It's all closed cell. It's much more expensive, but has a much higher R value. There's pluses and minuses of both. Closed cell is much better in a basement situation because it's moisture resistant. You can put it on a foundation wall, and as long as it's on thick enough, usually around an inch to two, it won't let the moisture through. But it costs a lot more. Open cell is a, is a lot more cost effective. It has about half the R value of closed cell, but you could lay it on there very thick on one application, and it seals the the cavity completely up. And that's what you're after is the air sealing. There are other methods. Some, some people use a hybrid method because the cost is too much. They call it a flash in a bat. Flash on some closed cell to about an inch and a half and then fill it with some other type of insulation. Now just to let you know that fiberglass is not going to be around here forever and even though it's not an asbestos material, which we all know that's a bad idea, Fiberglass, the health concerns of fiberglass are starting to come out. If you notice, whenever anybody installs it, they've got eye masks, they've got respirators and zoot suits on, Tyvek suits. So, I don't know, do you really want it in your house or not? There are other batted insulations out there that do not have that kind of health concerns that have a better R value than fiberglass. One of the things that you need to know about fiberglass or a batted material, it needs to be completely enclosed or encased. If you have a wall, fiberglass and nothing behind it, whatever R value that is, take it in half. If it's not in contact with all six sides, meaning front, back, both sides, and top and bottom, that R value is almost cut in half. So that's why it's really important to encase the cavity that that, that insulation is in. Spray foam insulation kind of takes care of that because once you get about two to three inches of this stuff, nothing's going to really, no air is going to come through it.